So in this week's video, we're going to be doing a review of the Gerber Dime. Um, I've had this small multi-tool for almost a year and a half now, and it always stays on my keychain. And I use it quite often, so we'll just walk through the whole multi-tool, everything it has to offer, and then we'll talk about what I like the most and what I think could be improved about it. So this multi-tool has a multitude of functions and I will just walk you through them. So on the outside is a bottle opener, which comes in handy very often. Um, and then right next to it is a pair of tweezers, which I've used to, you know, pull small items out of things, pick out splinters. One time I kicked a cactus and I had to pull cactus thorns out of my foot at like three in the morning. So um, those two tools are on the outside. Now we'll just walk around everything else. The main reason I got this multi-tool is because of the spring-loaded pliers. I like spring-loaded pliers over um, the other type of plier, the manual one that you have to use. It's basically two-handed. Um, and the reason that I like spring-loaded pliers is because you can operate them with one hand and it just makes it a lot easier so let me get this open you have a phillips and a flathead screwdriver which i don't use that much um, but they're still there they're not as hefty as something in a larger multi-tool like a leatherman skeleton tool or any of the Leatherman Waves or anything like that, but this is just a mini multi-tool. And then the next feature that I enjoy about it are the scissors. Um, again, one-handed operation, which is something <clears throat> that I like over um, other Leathermans or even Victorinox. Swiss Army Knives is because they either don't have spring-loaded pliers or their scissors are not one-handed. Um, or can be operated with one hand. And then it has an awl to be used to cut open boxes, things like that. And then the last feature is a plain edge knife. Um, so now we'll go over what I dislike first. I dislike the scissors. I wish they could be of a little bit better quality. Um, sometimes they don't cut as well, uh, but that's honestly the only thing that I dislike about this tool. It's held up well, um, you know, it's got wear and tear around the edges because it goes in my pockets every day, but I mean, other than that, nothing's ever broken, nothing's ever bent, um, and the thing I probably like the most about this, like I said, are the spring-loaded pliers just because of how easy they are to operate. I've used them to pull out nails, um, pull out staples, anything like that. It's it's a very hefty little multi-tool. So that is all. 